guys, welcome to the next episode of Do It Yourself From House to Home. If you're new here, my name is Ellie and we do lots of fun crafting and DIYs on this channel. And today I'm hosting my last Dollar Tree collab of February. I can't believe how fast this month just came and went. And we're going to be working with a Dollar Tree wood, so I'll be sure to leave the link to the playlist in my description box and let's get to it! Alrighty, for our first DIY today, I'm going to be using this wooden round sign from the Dollar Tree as well as this cute little bee honeycomb sign from Walmart. And I'm going to start off by painting our honeycomb using this Summer Porch Yellow Paint by Folk Art Chalk Paint. Next, I went ahead and sketched onto our little bees how I'm going to paint them and I'm going to start off by adding some black folk art chalk paint as the little antennas and on the body and wings. Next, I'm going to go in and add some yellow using this apple barrel yellow paint. And I want our little honeycomb to look more distressed, so I'm going to go in and distress it a bit using some white folk art chalk paint. And now that our honeycomb is nice and dry, I'm going to go in with these little greenery picks I found at Goodwill. I believe they're originally from Hobby Lobby, and I'm going to use my hot glue gun to add them to the top, as well as this cute little bow I made using some Dollar Tree burlap ribbon. And last but not least, I'm going to use my hot glue gun to add our little honeycomb to our sign, and that'll be it for our first Spring Bee DIY! For our next project today, I'm going to be using this little wooden house from Dollar Tree, and I'm going to start off by painting it using some white Waverly chalk paint. Next, I'm going to go in and sand it down using some Dollar Tree sandpaper to give it a more farmhousey look. And then I also had this little garland from I believe Hobby Lobby and I'm going to wrap it around the bottom of our little house. Next, I'm going to use my hot glue gun to add some little flowers all around our little house. These are just some flowers I had in my stash. And last but not least, I added a few little greenery picks here and there using my hot glue gun. And that'll be it for this adorable little spring bee little birdhouse. And if you guys are new here, don't forget to hit that like and subscribe button. And I always leave the links to my social media in my description box as well, like to my blog and my Instagram. And this is where I share sneak peeks and behind the scenes, so don't forget to check out those links as well. Alrighty, and back to our next DIY, I'm going to be making a pillow cover using this cute little Be Happy towel from the Dollar Tree. And I'm going to start off by measuring it. I'm going to be using this pillow that I had previously made in another DIY, so I'm going to go ahead and cut it out. Now 
Next, I went ahead and sewed the bottom together just so I can make sure the size was right. Then I'm going to flip it over and I'm going to turn this into a pillow cover that I can easily remove. So I'm going to go ahead and cut it straight down the middle. And then we'll go ahead and flip it inside out so that we can sew the other sides. And now that our pillowcase is done, I'm going to go ahead and flip it right side out. And last but not least, this step is a little bit extra. I'm going to be using a piece of some Crafter Square white felt on the inside of our pillow just because our pillow is a little bit see-through and you can always sew this on the inside of the pillow as well. I'm just going to do the quick and easy way. And then for our closure, I added two little holes on each side and I'm going to tie it together using a piece of some jute twine and make a cute little bow in the back. And that'll be it for this adorable Be Happy Pillow Cover DIY. What do you guys think? For our next project today, I'm going to be using this glass vase from Dollar Tree. And I'm going to start off by giving it a couple coats of some white spray paint inside of my little portable spray tent here. And I'm going to be using some flat rust -Oleum white spray paint. And now that it's all dry, I'm going to add this cute honeybee stencil from this folk art set. And I'm going to fill it in with some black folk art chalk paint. Next, I tied two little beads onto the end of this piece of jute twine from Dollar Tree, and I'm going to wrap it around the top of our vase a few times and make a cute little bow at the top. And last but not least, I popped in some of Dollar Tree floral picks, and that'll be it for this adorable vase DIY. Alrighty, for our last DIY today, I'm going to be using this cute little wooden tag from the Dollar Tree as well as some wooden beads. And then I'm going to start off by painting our tag and our medium beads using that same Summer Porch Yellow by Folk Art Chalk Paint. Next, I'm going to go in with a little bit of our Apple Barrel Yellow Paint and I'm just going to distress the sides a bit and make it look a little bit lighter on the center. And as for our smaller wooden beads, I'm going to paint four using some Black Folk Art Chalk Paint and then I'm going to leave the other four their natural wooden color. Next, I'm going to add this beautiful honeybee silkscreen stencil by Folk Art, and I'm going to fill it in using some black Folk Art chalk paint. And once all of our pieces are dry, I'm going to use some jute twine and I'm going to start to assemble our beaded garland. And then I made a jute twine tassel for the other end. If you'd like to see a full tutorial, I'll be sure to leave one link to the top of the screen. And last but not least, we'll go ahead and tie our tag onto one end and our jute twine tassel on the other. And that'll be it for today's spring bead DIYs. I really hope you guys enjoyed them. Please let me know which one was your favorite in the comment section below.
so much for watching today's episode you guys i really hope you enjoyed it and if you did don't forget to hit that like and subscribe button as well as that little notification bell to be notified when i release new content and i'll be sure to leave the links to my etsy shop as well as my social media in my description box and we'll see you next time